One of the recent stories that touched me, I think, to this point, and there have been many, by the way, was the story um, where you offered a voucher by Mr. D and, and pick and pay to uh, one of your community members. And for me, that's what I mean about right, the feeling. Can yeah, you exactly. share how that story brought the contact and brought Good Things Guide to life in a way that we experience it? And, and that is exact. this story is exactly why I say it matters that brands understand the content creators that they're partnering with and also trust them. They trust them that they know what they're speaking about when it comes to their audience. So the agency contacted me and they said to me, Mr. D wants to partner with you because they are partnering with Pick and Pay to, to launch this campaign where you can basically check a 6060. And I'm adding all the brands in here, but you can check a 6060 your, your groceries. Yeah. So it's their, sure. it's their um, sort of vehicle to get the groceries to your house. And mm -hmm. in order to launch this campaign, they want to give you a 500 Rand grocery voucher so that you can test the service. And in that initial meeting, when they mentioned this, because um, fir the first conversation was, would you work with Mr. D? And I was like, yeah, that's cool. And then when they mentioned the 500 Rand gro grocery voucher, I just thought to myself, like, how cuck is it that people are going to watch me, a guy that has got a car and has got a job and, you know, that has expensive sunglasses or whatever that is. Um, and now I'm getting a free 500, 500 Rand voucher to spend on myself so you can watch me buying my groceries like yeah. i feel that's that's not true to who i am and it's not sure. true to what good things guy is about so i said to the client no, no 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 why don't we do this why don't i give the 500 rand voucher not to a homeless person not to someone in need i give it to someone in my community circle who i've known for many years and i know that she does good for the community so she feeds people she's got all these good things that she does why don't i give it to her and yeah. let her tell me how the service helped her be able to keep helping. And on that call, Mr. Mr. Delivery, the agency, they went, what? That's, that's brilliant. That's so clever. Yes. And I was like, yes, because it's me. That fits in who I am. So then, then they said, well, how would you roll it out? So I said, cool. I'll create a video, the first piece of content, where I hand over that 500 Rand voucher to Samantha Perry, who is the, the kind individual. Mm, yeah. And then we'll do a follow-up um, and the follow-up will be a podcast where I'll interview her. I will speak about what it was like uh, using the pick-and-pay voucher, but more so the, the Mr. D pick-and-pay voucher, but more so I want to speak about the people that she's helping because that's what really matters in this instance. And they said, what a brilliant idea. Give her the 500 Rand voucher. And in that podcast, we want to give her an extra 5,000 Rand as a wow factor. And that's yeah. exactly how the campaign rolled out. And it was beautiful and it was well mm. received. And both the video and the podcast had thousands of views. I think the video had like 30,000 views because it was an interesting thing for people to see. And it was a kind gesture and it was authentically me. So mm. brand being brave with the content creator, listening to the content creator and understanding that maybe together, it doesn't have to be a tick the box thing. You can create a bit of magic and be kind in the process. Yeah.